All right, welcome back to day three of the Feral Academy of Improvised Remote Learning. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to my wife who noticed the uh, not so pretty table uh, underneath this that I used in our last couple of videos. Turns out we had some flooring put in last year and very clever design with the flooring. It's just a tongue and groove, which is similar to the, uh, the way our Hot Wheels tracks go together. And uh, they just come apart really easily. And I was able to make a nice little table here. Actually expanded my workspace a little bit. So thank you, uh, Mrs. Farrell for that. <laughs> All right, so what are we doing today? Um, we've done this before at school and you've always had a format, uh, a template to cut out. And it turns out you don't need that. All you need is a piece of paper and some scissors. You don't even need the scissors, really. Um, and so to make this easy stem copter, all you're going to do is get a long, straight piece of paper. It really doesn't matter what size you're working with. And again, scissors are probably gonna be better, but it still works. And then, just gonna make uh, three lines. One goes down the middle, and those are the bunny ears. I'm gonna make that almost halfway. And then down below there, gonna go like this. That's a little bit too far there, but you get the idea, okay? I'm gonna actually fold it about right there. And then, oh, I do have scissors, here we go. I'm going to cut the bunny ears, a little right down the middle. And then I'm gonna cut the sides. And I'm gonna stop, because I'm gonna stop at that line, there we go. And then one ear goes forward, one ear goes back. And then this middle piece just folds over about a third of the way, and then the other one folds over a third of the way. You've got yourself a stem copter. So after creasing them down, and you drop it like this, it doesn't work very well. So what you want to do is you want to hold the, you know, crease it down and then hold the ears up together. And then, works really well. So, what kind of variations can we do with this? Does it have to be two blades, two rotors? Could it be four or a different number? What size? I made this one extra big just because it was quick and easy. Could I make them smaller? What's gonna keep the stem copter in the air the longest? You could have competitions. Um, and I'd love to see your results when we get back. So, day three, stem copter challenge.